From an early age, we learn about the hazards of everyday life. We continue to learn about living safely for the rest of our lives. Oh. Hey, Baska! Care and thought are needed to protect ourselves, our family, and friends from life's hazards. Come on, we're late. We've got to go now. Okay. The same care and thought are needed at work to protect ourselves and fellow seafarers from accidents and injury. Hey, how did you? Oh, oh, hey, you? Aboard ship, you are responsible for your own safety and the safety of fellow crew members. A safe voyage for you means a voyage without accident or injury. Your shipmates and your friends and family are relying on you. Moving machinery, heat and noise make the engine room a place where you need to stay alert and vigilant. Good housekeeping, attention to training and safe working practices all play a vital part in the pursuit of personal safety. Protective clothing is the first barrier against hazards in the engine room. Overalls with long sleeves will protect the skin against dirt and abrasion. A good fit prevents clothing getting caught in moving machinery. Rings and jewellery can also be caught in moving machines, so remove them before duty. Safety footwear is designed to be slip resistant and to protect your feet from heat, knocks and cuts. Overalls and safety footwear are your basic defence against injury. But, in addition, you will need extra protection in the engine room for certain types of work. Some hard hats are designed with a harness inside the shell to help absorb the force of an impact. If you use this type of hard hat, make sure there is an effective clearance between the harness and the shell. In a noisy environment, you may need ear defenders. Hard hats protect the head from injury caused by knocks against overhead structures or from impact caused by falling objects. Tools and equipment falling from a height are a danger to people below. In real life, it's not possible to wind the clock back. Happily, in this video, we can. Wearing a hard hat reduces the chance of serious injury. So always keep your hard hat on in designated areas. Your eyes are one of your most important senses and sometimes the most vulnerable. Safety glasses and goggles will protect your eyes against chemicals and flying particles. If you normally wear spectacles and you need to protect your eyes, wear goggles over the top of your spectacles.
Is it worth taking a shortcut in safety for an injury that will last for a lifetime? If your goggles are too scratched or dirty to clean easily, discard them and use a new pair. Every tool is designed for a special purpose. Sharp tools should be directed away from the body, not towards it, to avoid injury if the tool or the workpiece slips. Using the wrong tool, or using the right one incorrectly, can cause injury as well as spoiling the work already done. Incorrect use of tools is a frequent cause of accidents. Stow your tools away when you've finished with them to reduce the dangers posed by sharp cutting edges. Always use the correct tool for the job in hand. When using power tools, machinery and watertight doors, observe all the safety signs and instructions. If a machine is designed to be used with a safety guard, make sure it is properly in place. If there is a problem with the safety guard, don't use the machine until it has been rectified. Clothes and equipment can be caught up in moving machinery. Electric shock and burns are a risk to the careless and unwary. If there is any apparent damage to electrical cables or plugs, don't use them. Report them for repair. Keep leads short and arranged to prevent them being chaffed or cut during use. Faulty electrical fittings and cables can also cause fire. Do not use faulty equipment and do not exceed the rated load when using electrical tools. Report any items in a dangerous condition. Electrical tools and lights should be isolated from the mains when not in use. Make sure you are familiar with the first aid procedures relating to electric shock. If a machine becomes defective, the power supply should be locked off and a warning notice posted. Only a qualified person should carry out electrical repairs. The threat of fire on board ship is ever present. Whatever measures are taken or safety features installed, there is still the risk of carelessness or neglect. Whichever task you are performing, good housekeeping and cleanliness are crucial in preventing fires. Combustible materials should be disposed of or stored safely. A ship's engine room contains all the necessary ingredients for a fire. Unsafe working practices, therefore, can add to the risk of an engine room fire. Take care when using flammable materials near exhaust pipes or hot surfaces. Fuel leaks and grease should be cleaned up immediately. Remove all oil-soaked lagging as soon as possible and change oily clothing to avoid the risk of fire. Always change into clean overalls when necessary. Always follow the proper notification procedures if you are alone in the engine room. Know the meaning of alarm signals and the location of safety equipment in the engine room. Pre-plan your escape in the event of a fire. Pre-plan several routes in case one escape route gets blocked by fire or smoke. Remember that smoke is a bigger killer than flame. In a smoke-filled room, the air nearer the floor is generally clearer, 
so crawl on your hands and knees if you have to. Evacuate the engine room immediately on hearing the fire alarm to allow the use of CO2 installations. When welding or flame cutting, the utmost care must be exercised. Always arrange to have a fire watch when welding. This type of work requires extensive training. If you are not certified or trained to use welding and flame cutting equipment, don't use them. Minor oil leaks or spills often occur in the engine room. Slips and falls are among the most common types of accident on board ship. So watch your step, especially when carrying things. Use handrails when they are there. Oil spills need cleaning up immediately and the source of any leak rectified. Protect your hands by wearing gloves. Remember that oily waste can ignite spontaneously, so store it in a designated metal container with a lid. Oily waste should be stored away from heat and disposed of in the correct way. All traces of oil should be washed from your skin straight away. Skin exposed to mineral oils can develop dermatitis and in extreme cases even cancer. Barrier creams help to protect your skin and make it easier to clean next time. Hazardous materials can be found aboard any ship. Even the ship's fuel can contain benzene and other chemicals with which you need to avoid contact. Don't mix chemicals together unless you know the solution is safe. Take care when stowing and handling chemicals and compressed gases. The materials safety data sheets held on board list the safe handling procedures for these items. Incorrectly stowed heavy engine room spares are a major cause of injury. Store all heavy spares securely. Use the correct lifting techniques when handling heavy components. Good housekeeping is an important part of working safely and is everyone's responsibility. If floor plates have been temporarily removed, the openings should be protected. Warning notices should be posted where they can be seen at all times until it is safe to remove them. Missing floor plates are dangerous. Replace them as soon as possible. If lifting handles are not available, use a sensible lever, not your fingers. Avoid tiredness by having sufficient sleep and rest periods. Drinking plenty of liquids will counter the effects of dehydration. No money, you can't send it to your wife. What are you going to do for us, Rodina? Safe working practices, attention to training and good housekeeping will form the basis of your personal safety in the engine room. At the end of the day, it is your own skill and judgment that will take you safely home.